anytime you see sine theta equals some value, I want to know what theta is. How do I do that? I'm looking for what? X and A, but it's an angle measure. Anytime you're looking for an angle measure, you're going to hit second sine, second cosine, second tangent. In this case, second sine. So hit second. This is what it'll look like when you're on your screen. Sine inverse. Put a parenthesis, negative 5 divided by 8. Type that in. See what you get. <coughs> it should be negative 38 degrees. Approximately, yeah. Is everybody getting negative 38-ish? If you got an error, then you type something incorrectly. Therefore, I'm getting an error message. You put minus 5 instead of negative 5. Will you stop throwing it then? Thus, stop throwing. Here, I'll throw it to you. Or at you. Okay, everybody got this on their screen now? Now, here's the thinking. This angle has to be between 180 and 270. What quadrant is that? Three. It's one of the two. It's two or three. Which one? Three. three. So we're talking about 38 degree. Anybody know what the reference angle is for negative 38 degrees? Well, think. What would it be? Think, you dorks. Negative 38. Get vertical. Wait, why is it in the negative 38. negative 38, there are no negative reference angles. Why wait? <laughs> if he had the desk down there, he would look exactly the same. It is. Reference angle. I drew the angle. What's the reference angle? 38 degrees. I went down negative 38. This is a 38 degree reference angle. That takes time to soak in. Because we all think, well, it was just negative, now it's positive. Reference angles are totally different. Now, you're going to take that reference angle and draw it where? What's the other side? Third quadrant. There's a 38 degree reference angle. Correct? Here's the million dollar question. Are you ready? Haji, I feel like you're going to be a millionaire. Who wants to be a millionaire? Whisper it to someone special in your lives. That doesn't mean you're dating or you love them. Just someone special. Whisper what the degree measure will be. In their ear. In their ear. Shay, no getting up, okay? Just sit there. That's awesome. You're staring at his butt. Oh, yeah. Bud, who, did Shay whisper it to you? Oh, that's right. My fault. That's my fault, Bud. All right, Bud, what'd you come up with? Well, we start here 90, 180. And 38 more. Right. Do you see where it came from? Now that we draw it, find your reference angle. Shay, Shay. Why did you go through the triangle? This is my reference angle. I just do a reference triangle. Really, that's just my. Okay, but in this picture over here, you stopped. Because, oh, wait, I see. That's because we're in quadrant two. Inverse tangent, 4.7. Type it in. Again, five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What is it? Approximately. So what you get in that is... So the number you get is... Sometimes. 
You got you to draw it and see. Most of the, 90% of the time, yes. Draw it out and find the reference angle. Get vertical. So if it was like 138, draw 138, get vertical. So 78 degrees. What quadrant am I going to draw this in? What quadrant? Quadrant three. I don't get why it's in three. 180 to 270, what quadrant is that? Three. So, 78 degree reference angle is just like that. All right, whisper. Whisper to someone special. <laughs> Shane, get up this time. Shay, what bud whisper in your ear? <laughs> bud, you're sweet. Sweet dude! Sweet. All right, do five on your own. All by yourself, you have exactly 42 seconds. Ready, go. <laughs> 